I saw this store today, it was called um, Balloons to Go. <laughs> That's kind of implied. <laughs> they waiting balloons to stay? Is that an issue? <laughs> they walk in there, hey, dozen balloons for here. <laughs> it's my birthday, I'm having it here. I hope you guys sell cake and friends. <laughs> I walk around a lot in the city. I'm, I'm actually a dog walker, uh, you know, for the right reasons. Uh, you know. <laughs> it's not that bad a gig. Dogs are great. I love dogs. It's the owners, fucking psychopaths. I hate all these people. I, they're the worst. I just said I'll die. I, the dogs can live, but they're the worst. Because most of them had dogs instead of children, so they're neurotic about the dogs. Every time I walk a dog, I have to send an email, letting them know what happened on the walk with like details, like I'll oh, scrap you number one. We had a good interaction with the Doberman. And I get these emails back like, oh, no number two? I'm always so disappointed when a dog did shit. And there's a subtext like it was my fault, like I fucked up. And it's ridiculous, but now I don't know what to do. Obviously there's nothing I can do to get them to shit, so now I'm just lying in these emails. I'm like, oh, that's it. I'm like, all right, the dog did one, two, three, and four, okay? He peed, he pooped, he puked, and he came. Are you happy? And he's empty. <laughs> Uh, what else? I am, uh, I, uh, I'm a half Jewish. I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, I look Jewish, but, uh, I'm just half, and, uh, I'm actually confirmed Catholic. Also bar mitzvah Jew, and a practicing Buddhist, actually, a Jew boo. Uh, and, uh, you know, I grew up, you know, I grew up learning about Jesus. Jesus was also a Jew, which I think it's easy, people forget. You know, I think it's easy for, I think the reason people forget that is because he's, like, the least Jewy of the Jews. <laughs> right, he's tall, he's handsome, he's fixing things. <laughs> Isn't that weird, too, that Jesus was a carpenter? It's just like, why? Like, why bother learning a trade? You're the son of God. Do that. <laughs> why bother with an associate's degree? <laughs> and I realized, there's the Jew. There it is, right there. <laughs> the Jew had Jewish parents, a Jewish mother. The Jewish mother doesn't care for sons and son of God. She's still gonna be like, you should have something to fall back on <laughs> in case this whole Messiah thing doesn't pan out. You know, you can copy during the day, Messiah at night. Get some disciples under your belt to make the switch. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I bet Jesus was like a pretty shitty carpenter, you know? Like, you never hear about feats of carpentry in the Bible. Right? So that's the reason his heart wasn't in it, it's not he wanted to do. He's probably phoning it in, you know? I bet the first guy to take the Lord's name in vain was complaining about some shitty work he'd done in their house. Like, Jesus fucking Christ! What am I paying you for? It took a miracle to fix this. <laughs> so the Buddhism thing, that's interesting, right? What does that really mean in America, being a Buddhist? I don't know. For me, it means I just meditate. But, you know, it's, in America, Buddhism is just a commercial thing, right? Pretty much. That's all it means, right? Like, if you go to someone's house, you see Jesus, you see Christ on a cross, you're like, okay, this, you can make some conclusions about this person. You go to someone's house, you see a statue of the Buddha, it's like, well, they've been to a Pier 1. <laughs> It doesn't mean anything, you know. It pisses me. I don't want to be stereotypical angry Buddhist here, but uh, it does. It irks me a little bit, you know, when I see it being used for commercial gain so much. Like I saw this this restaurant the other day. They said it was like a Zen restaurant. That's not a type of food, okay? That's not a cuisine. I would. I wish it was. I wish it was like a legit. Like they served metaphors. That would be amazing. You, know? you go in there. You look at the menu. You're like, um, oh, the duck. Waiter checks you out. He's like. You're not ready for duck. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just have chicken. Chicken comes, just a bowl of rice. I'm like, wait, I heard chicken. He goes, you have chicken. <laughs> so you realize rice is chicken. Chicken is rice. Rice and its enlightened essence encompasses all that exists. So wait, I understand now. I'm ready for the duck. He says, we're out of duck. <laughs> So you realize there is no duck. There never was. Duck is just a manifestation of transient desires. <laughs> and that all the duck you could ever need is ready inside of you. <laughs> Holy shit. I'd be, oh, it'd be amazing. You go outside, someone asks you what time it is, you're like, now! <laughs> Zen food. <laughs> it's 
Spiritually, I'm satisfied. <laughs> you know, I was actually a fat kid growing up. I was a former fatty. Uh, then I was a fat adolescent. And, uh, you know, um, I used to play a lot of video games. I honestly still do. Love video games, not gonna lie. I feel a little bit guilty about it. I do, because I'm older. Also, because video games have gotten a lot easier. Like, video games used to be so difficult that you, like, felt like you were actually accomplishing something, right? Those old school games, like, they're Japanese, they don't fuck around, all right? Three lives, game the fuck over. Okay? <laughs> Take it from the top, fats. You know? And it was an honor. It was an honor to that, you know? These new games have all been Americanized, watered down. Like, I was playing this game recently, and I kept dying at this one part. And the screen popped up. And it's like, hey, who's your dying a lot here? <laughs> Do you want to skip this part? <laughs> And I'm like looking around, I'm like, I'm alone, I'm 30 years old, I'm playing a video game. Like, do you realize what I've skipped to get here? <laughs> By the time my dad was 30, he owned a house. Yeah, I'm renting this game, okay? <laughs> I'm also, uh, I'm recently single, I uh, just got a kind of big, big relationship, which is nice. Um, it's good to be back out there again, having, you know, casual sex again, which, uh, at least casual type of sex, uh, come back to it. You know, I don't know, it's kind of a misnomer, because it's like, you barely know the person, and like, you, you don't know what's, like, appropriate, like, is this, do you like that, the cat's looking at you? I mean, it's just a lot, it's exciting, it's just not casual, compared to relationship sex, which is like the most casual. Yeah. Right? Like, I remember having sex through pairs of pajama pants. <laughs> It's not casual, I don't know what that word means. <laughs> right, we need new terms, relationship sex, that's casual sex, okay? Casual sex with all of its ceremony, formal sex, okay? And then sex with a prostitute, it's like business casual, right? <laughs> <laughs> business casual. <laughs> I do. I, uh, one thing about me, I prefer, I prefer bigger women. I do, I like the larger ladies, I do. I've always had, it's always who I am, I just like big women. My whole life I looked at those weight loss before and after pictures from right to left, like read the Torah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a term chubby chaser, I really don't, I don't, I don't like that term, it's kind of offensive. Also unrealistic, nobody's running, I don't know where they got that. <laughs> it's sad it's taken me this long to be open about it too, you know, because it's just men, because we judge each other. Men, we judge each other based on our women, you know, men, we look at each other like we're these hunters. And women are a prey, and bigger women are considered like lower status catches and skinny women, which I think is backwards for society. And also, if you think about it, for hunting. <laughs> <laughs> the whole point of hunting is to catch bigger game. <laughs> so it makes you a good hunter, right? Like you never see a fisherman getting his picture taken with a bony little minnow. Like, you know, like that. Right, but that game out there is called Big Butt Hunter, okay? It's not Anorexic Slut Finder, alright? You guys have been awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much.